morning everybody and good morning ladies see we're nice and close to cash it just about there they're not the biggest of hurries this morning i drove in the gate and was able to get uh, back get around the paddock before the girls start to leave they're not uh hungry today not the biggest of rushes come on see the fog starting to set in let's go get to booking In this way. Through the fog. Yeah, there you go, it's the second row. And there's the first row. Just by the side. <laughs> Not in the biggest hurries. Yeah, just uh, dawdling this morning. The girls are walking really well. Dad's just up there. Come on, girls. Up we go. Come on. Go, girls. Up we go. Come on, push her up. Morning, Dad. How are you? Going all right? Bunch of fluffies. Bunch of fluffies. That's good. That's good. Come on. My girls, push her up. One more. Elvis Presley. Elvis Lasses. <laughs> Sun rising up over the hills. Hey. Come on, girls, up we go. Pushing the last of these girls up. Go on, ladies, up we go. That big number one, no one. Well, that's good. That looks that good. The second one heading out. We milked them both this morning. Both full, but not too full. Good. The girls here, just got the second last row leaving. And we're milking the last girls here. Last row's actually got a few more cows in it today because. The girls are so full at the moment, we're only getting 20 a row. You should get about 22. That's good. Happy cows, fat cows, and milking cows. Milking cows are making money cows. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get down to go and load up with a load of maize. And yeah, see, so he's going to meet us down there. He's got a few things tidy up in the cash. Feeding out to the girls here. Looking good. Blue one. Just means keep an eye on some of cell count. Awesome. These girls, amazing how they all push in real tight to get that maze. Yep, we got next to no cows over here. It's <laughs> a load of maize. Here. Yeah, these girls are happy. There's little piles there. A little bit more to come out, and that'll be us. We'll go reload. Awesome, that's it. Beauty. Perfect. Let's go and uh, reload and uh, put a silage bale on. Dad said no silage bale for this morning. They got a heap of grass in here. So that'll be all right. Nom, nom, nom. I think you need some maize. It's quite tall too, it's about as tall as the tractor. It's a good maze. Just all loaded up, got a good load on the, for tonight. And you see here all this maze falling over. Can't really be helped because uh, we can't even get it with the two row chopper. They're just leaning out so far 
and if dad runs where he needs to run to actually get them it'll pull them over even worse so uh, instead we're just going to chop the one side out and then eventually we'll get to this side and we'll be able to probably chop some most of the stuff out in the end that's all good so we're just doing the ends and the one side leave that but there's still a bit of maze down in there it's not too bad could be worse nice. so we're giving them roughly about 10 cube of maize a day for 250 cows and We've just cut back to one bale of silage just at night because we've got so much grass coming through now. The peak's finally woken up. Makes a change. Yeah. Went really well. Daddy said, look, we'd better put some dry stuff on top. It's not quite a full load at the front here. That's why we stopped a bit early. But it is a good load further to the back in the silage balers. So we're gonna go along here pick up some of this other maze here. It's one of the things of down maze leans over so far and then when it comes up the chute sometimes it'll cut off the chute block the mouth hard to pick it up but she picks it up better than the single row chopper did Just blocks up the front. We've got a good load of dry maize now on top. Girls don't like that stuff as much as they like the um, nice green stuff, but it'll do them. Well, jeepers, bubby, bubby. Winding up the reel for tonight's paddock. As you can see, they've left a lot behind there. A lot behind. And they've got some nice, beautiful clover. Good grass for tonight. Let's wind this up. Well, as Dad said, just have a bit of a relaxing day. Put the salt into our little salt container here, and then um, all day there, catch all the milking tonight. Still a bit of salt left, but it won't hurt to have a bit more renewed. Well, the girls will enjoy their salt now. Okay, see we've got some beautiful growing weather. Not too sure what else we can get up to today. Oh, I'll see you all at milking tonight another beautiful one get some good grass growing weather now afternoon ladies all here to get milked are we okay, we're just waiting for some more girls to come in before we start the machines we're all washed up washed the vat we sent another 4040 liters today so hopefully another 370 odd milk solids Let's see how that goes Get to it. Our dad's washing the yard like he always does now. He washes the first half of the pit. He's really washed the yard out there while I was milking. He just had the last quarter to go. We're just waiting on cows to finish now uh, for this afternoon. We're just going to go feed out and then we'll head back here and call it a day there. So, and it's going to go help the young farmers again tonight. They've got another hay job of about 1,500 bales, carting about 10 kilometres down the road. Not too bad, could be worse. 
Bye. We'll see him in the morning. <laughs> Makes all that silage there. Girls can get a good mouthful of maize and uh, silage. But yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of grass left there, so girls will be happy. They got a lot of grazing to do. We did open the gate there so they could have the road side, that little triangle bit with the old metal dumpers. But it doesn't actually look like any of them have gone out there, and it's not as good quality as what's in these paddocks in this paddock here. And they've also still got a bit of back grazing to do. So I asked Dad what, what he thinks. He said, just close the gate. As it is anyway, we usually take them off out of there at about uh, nine o'clock at night. But since they're not even out there at the moment, or not even out there now, I might as well close that gate. See, there's still a lot of grass out there. Basically, he just walked over most of it, trying to find all the good stuff. And uh, we're still feeding out here. It's going well, it's going well. Dusty tractor. And we'll close the gate over there as well. Not much more to go, just a quarter of a bale. We tend to do horseshoe shapes because you can corner on the right here because what it does is the maize can and the silage all clump up into a good pile. Whereas if you go the other way, it sort of pushes it out and makes a wide pile and the cows stand over most of it. But doing it turning right, especially with it being out on the right there, it'll be a lot, um, that's a lot better, a lot, a lot better. Okay, well, I'll see you all back at the cow shed. We've gone into the paddock. It's all emptied nicely. We'll hook our reel back up and over to there and put our little bit of tape here across to there, because I'm not sure where they're going in the morning. I'll find out from Dad. I'll stand it here. Quite lucky, the cows actually haven't tried to even get in this bit. Not yet anyways. They don't even electrify it. Always angle it back. That way it stands up straight. Beauty. Well, that's us for today. 
like and subscribe and I'll see you all morning. Thank you.